Have you ever wondered where all that rainwater goes? Water gets absorbed by the ground and by the plants. But how about the rest? Eventually, it drains into the surrounding lakes and rivers, but it must get there through watersheds. What is a watershed? Basically, we are sitting in a watershed right now. The Environmental Protection Agency defines a watershed as any part of a land that flows downhill into a waterway. It is a broad term used to describe how water flows across land to feed streams, rivers, and lakes. These watersheds fit together like puzzle pieces to form our land masses. In a watershed, the beginning of a water source is called a headwater. Whereas confluence is the term used for a spot where headwaters progressively join other water sources, and mouth for the end point of the waterways that open into the main body of water. Another name for watershed is drainage basin, and another name for basin is sink. A sink can serve as a highly simplified model of a watershed. Water that falls anywhere within a sink will move downhill to its drain. Question is, why watersheds really matter? Watersheds directly affect water quality. Disturbed watersheds affect wildlife. Life in different ecosystems suffers to the effects of watershed pollution while the pollutants introduced into these ecosystems alter wildlife habitats. This setting will then disrupt biodiversity by eliminating some species and introducing new. That will then affect the food chain from microbial organisms that feed birds and other animals to fish that feed humans. There are many watersheds here in the Philippines because we are abundant of rainfall. Mount Apo in Davao, Cotabato, for example, Makiling Banahaw in Laguna and Quezon, Tiwi in Albay, and many more. These watersheds are the source of water of many communities in the area. By protecting watersheds, we are also protecting different organisms. EPA suggested several green building techniques that will protect our source of clean water. Cut down wastewater pollution by fixing leaky faucets and septic tanks. Allow better drainage. Add plants and trees to prevent erosion. And reduce the usage of fertilizers and pesticides. Every one of us should remind ourselves that water cycle is also a life cycle.